Tracy Ellis Ross here. Tracy Ellis Ross, just out of the shower. I've washed with my hydrating shampoo, and then I used Pattern Medium Conditioner, which is my favorite conditioner of all conditioners. Then comes the holy grail of all holy grails, the Pattern Leave-In Conditioner, which I like to put on my hair usually in the shower, but for the sake of this, I'm gonna do it out of the shower. I like to use a lot of it. I could probably use a little bit more. My hair is, eh, it's not as wet as I like it, but I'm gonna move it all the way through. I'm gonna dip my head. Ooh, this is key. You can see my little gray is coming in. I'm not afraid of any gray. No, I'm not. So I like to wrap the towel really gently so that all of the lovely curl making that happened in the shower doesn't get jostled or ruined. Retrouvé body oil. Out of the shower while soaking wet, all over. You will glisten and shine and look like silk. Okay, body is glistening. Now let's work on the face. Terry Lawton Serum. I don't know what she puts in here. Don't ask me, but it's a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna make me look gorgeous. Okay, so it is liquid. It's like water. And I just slather and lather. And here comes the beginning of stuff. I do this until it's in my skin. Some people spend time putting on makeup. I spend time hydrating my skin. Phase two, Biologique Le Grande Serum. It's like a spray. It's kind of goldy. I have always taken care of my skin. As a young girl, I was a picker. I used to love to do my own extractions and I thought that I was an esthetician, but I was not. So I started getting facials really young so that I wouldn't pick and I would have a professional do it because my mom was like, you are gonna scar up your skin. Oh yeah, see, something's starting to happen, guys. I think I'm gonna move to my eye cream. I don't know how you pronounce it. I think it's Yocon. I like the teeniest little bit because there's not a lot of skin under there. And the thing that's so funny is I feel like no one ever taught me how to do this stuff. Watch, some professional's gonna be like, Tracy, you're doing this all wrong. Well, it works for me, guys. 46 years old and this stuff still looks pretty cute. Okay, I'm gonna take my towel off and I'm gonna put in my pattern clip because this is another phase of developing my curls. I like to grab my hair from the top. It's kind of Victorian. So, we're back to my face. This fancy jar is Le Grand Creme. I like to use a spatula to get it out. I don't like to stick my fingers in there. Very sterile. So I like a lot, because again, hydration, hydration, hydration. I like to heat cream up in my hands and then get in there. I'm gonna move into my tools. This is a small vibrating tool. It was very inexpensive and it's from Amazon. I don't even know what it's called. I don't drink coffee. I rarely eat sugar. I don't like to drink alcohol at all when I'm gonna be on camera, which is all the time, all the time. Instead of coffee, I like to dry brush my body or vibrate my face or roll my face or gua my face and wake it up because I'm often at work at five in the morning. My bathroom is filled with tinctures, tonics, creams, lotions, potions, and oils. So today, along with the four layers I've already put on, I'm gonna do a top layer of Retrouvé Intensive. I just do one little squeeze. Like a teeny little bit goes a long way. Really hydrating and a little bit greasy and shiny, which I really love. So I just kind of press it everywhere. It's like, look at how those cheeks are already coming up. Come on, who needs makeup? Look at that. This is Biologique Tool Serum. It's like a pop of the skin. Two drops, like that's all. Boom, boom. Again, I like to heat it up and just gently pat it in. The blue balls. The giant blue balls. Oh my God, they're glass and they're cold. I keep them in the refrigerator. Oh my God, this feels so good. 
I do this every a lot of days at work when it's really early and I just feel tired. It is very hard to go to bed at nine o'clock and wake up at four and get your eight hours, but I need eight hours. My beauty routine is more about how I feel than how it transforms me into some version of myself that I can't keep up with. This little lip scenario right here, it is a lip mask from Tatcha and it says, the Kiss You Lip Mask. My prep for when I wear lipstick is just that I hydrate and then I wipe it completely off before I put my lipstick on, if I wear lipstick. So now that my face is completely hydrated and all of that, I'm gonna diffuse my hair and get some big fluffy volume. This Dyson diffuser and blow dryer, shh. It's so good. I'm sweating, guys. I'm totally sweating. Creates its own glow. Takes a while to get the poof. I like it big. For me personally, I don't like when it's all uniform. I have so many different curl patterns in my hair. The front is one texture, then the top is another texture, and then there's other curl patterns under here. This guy lately does not want to curl. It's tired and it just needs a break, so I'm just letting it be. You know, growing up there were so few people that had, that wore their hair in its natural texture. My mom was one of them. And that was part of the reason that I started dreaming of a line of hair products and that I have kind of carved out this path for myself. Growing up there just were not a lot of examples in media and entertainment of women that wore their hair naturally. And I'm so grateful to be a part of this community. I could chronicle my journey of self-love and self-acceptance through my journey with my hair. I only want to empower and support you in loving what you have. And it took a long time for me to understand my hair. The more that I understood it, the more it has been able to do. I like my hair when it is completely dry because once it is completely dry, the curls have sort of sealed themselves and then once it cools off, then the cuticle closes, the shape of the curl is locked in. Now makeup. I like to wipe off anything that's left of that lip mask. Tried and true, Ruby Woo. Favorite lipstick of all time. I love a bold color, I love a matte lip. With Ruby Woo, for some reason, I like to do the lipstick first and then the liner. I use the Cherry Lip Pencil from MAC. I can do lip liner without a mirror, but I'm looking at you, so, but I could close my eyes. I mean, I'm not a big makeup girl. I've got a lot of hair and a lot of personality. There's not, there's not a ton of makeup for me. My eyebrows are pretty simple. It Cosmetics, it's like a skinny, skinny, skinny one. Bop, 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 bop. I spent a lot of time hidden on the floor in my mom's dressing room while she did her own hair and makeup. My mom is so self-sufficient with her beauty and I think it's informed so much of what I believe. I feel like every person should be able to access their most beautiful self and feel beautiful in their own bathroom without having to be dependent on someone outside of themselves. I just like it to look like hairs, so I like it to look really natural. I have a lot of eye, a lot of eyeball, and a lot of space between this line and this line, so I don't like an arch. Um, I like when it pulls my eyes out. Obviously, I have lips and eyebrows on, and I didn't do any foundation, and I didn't do any concealer. It doesn't bother me. I feel like I earned these stripes. I earned these gentle, situations here and this under my eyes and this way when I giggle or when I get embarrassed or whatever and the skin the colors change in my skin you can see it light can reflect you can actually see my natural contour that exists my freckles and I could be crazy maybe after seeing this video I'll be like oh my god I need to wear foundation <laughs> but who cares I don't know I wear foundation on TV um, in the movies I can look like some pictured version of me I don't know 
But in real life, I like what I actually look like. Um, and even the things that I don't like that I look like, even the things about my face that I have issue with, or, you know, I like this side of my face better than I like this side of my face, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I also feel like, who cares? I have so many things to do in my life, and worrying about this little thing or that little thing on my face is a waste of time. This is, I stole from a makeup artist. It was given to me. It's Dr. Lancer, kind of gentle, iridescent. You know how people love highlighter? You ready? This is my version. And I will look like I have just come from the beach. So this is just a really hot pink cream blush. I'm just doing that. I like blush in the front of my cheeks. And then I might add a little brown in there just to take down a little bit. Tom Ford, it's this little palette. I don't use the top guy. <laughs> I just use that one. I basically contour my blush. I don't know which one goes first, I don't really care. I don't need contour. Look at this little gap right here. Here's the thing, at work sometimes, or like if someone's doing my makeup, they'll put so much foundation, you can't even see my contour. So then they got a contour, and then there's no sheen up here. So then they got a highlight. I mean, you can do it for camera, but come on, see how it took the pink down a little bit? But it looks like I just went and I was like on a walk in the sun. Come on. I am ready for a date, you guys. Who's taking me out? Seriously though, who's taking me out? This is a Surratt eyelash curler and it's nice because it's the shape of my eye. The trick for mascara, I kid you not, the best combination of mascara situations ever! This is Tarte's opening act. The best combo now, you now mix it with Benefits, their real mascara. It's the brush. And I like top and bottom lashes. And even when I get my makeup done, I do my own mascara. It's so funny, by the time you get to this age, I'm 46, you've got the things you do and they're just the things you do. Okay, but do you see how the top just like gives you a little sexy bedroom eye? I do a real clump on the bottom. You see, I've clumped them together. I used a ton of primer. Use my fingers and this to like push them together. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye and then I'm gonna paint the mascara over it. So, other eye is now done. Paint the clumps. Okay, so, there they are. Dee -dee -dee. Let's bring my bangs back down. Little serum from Pattern. Dun, dun, dun. Seal the deal on the hair. All right. Use that extra here. Tracy Ellis Ross. No foundation. Happy, joyful hair. A sexy red lip and a little bit of a twiggy lash. <laughs>